So Egyptians are so angry that Cleopatra was casted as black in the upcoming documentary to the extent they are already suing. Hi guys, it's Ozzy here again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This documentary has sparked up a lot of interesting conversations and obviously Egyptians who are currently in Egypt are so angry because they claim black people are trying to blackwash their history when in fact they were the original Egyptians and they claim that they were actually the ones that built the pyramids. Hmm. Interesting isn't it? Because the illustrations on their walls and the mummies they unearthed from their tombs say otherwise. They have features that scream black. What race do you think these mummies belong to? They certainly look black to me and any other person whose eyes are working properly. At least, their hair does not lie. And oh, look at these pictures. I'm sure they would have made it white if that's what they were. And let's not forget that all black Africans don't have one specific future. We have several features. Colonizers claim that the average black person has a wide nose, wide lips, and you know, just broad features. Forgetting that those are not the only features that black people have. Black people come in different shades and different shapes of facial features. We even have black people with blue eyes and black people with straight hair. I'm sure this is shocking. Blacks even have blonde hair too. And please, the fact that a certain group of people are the ones currently occupying a certain place does not necessarily mean that it was their ancestors who were originally occupying that place in ancient times. Let's not forget that ancient Egypt was conquered several times. In fact, if you want to understand modern day Egypt and who are the people who are currently there, you need to read about the Arab conquest. And yes, they are right, Cleopatra was not necessarily black, at least according to their history, she was Greek. But then, this same thing has been done to Africans for years now and Africans have not sued anybody. Our legendary figures, our historical legends have been whitewashed. And we, you, did you see Africans suing anybody? No. But then, suddenly, everyone is so mad about this. And I'm, I'm kind of confused because I think Africans should start taking movies seriously. If we see a movie that is being acted and we know that that person is actually a black person, we should sue them. I think that's the energy we need right now. The actions so far are basically saying it's okay when they do it, but it's a problem when we do it. And actually, that type of representation is not necessarily what we need as black people. We have enough historical figures to actually act in a movie and present it as black. We don't need to go and be writing Cleopatra as black. It's not really necessary. It's quite funny the way they all came out in unity to kick against a movie simply because the character was not represented in their own race and skin color. I think Africans should learn from this and please, when next you Westerners want to act your movie based off African history including Egypt, whether it's their pharaohs or whatever, make sure that the characters are black. There's just so much evidence that shows the real identity of ancient Egypt. And if people don't believe they were black, then why exactly were the nose of the statues broken off? What were they trying to hide? Suspicious, isn't it? So movies were not enough. They had to break off the noses too. Because we are watching and we are learning. This is quite similar to the way they were all so mad about the little mermaid being casted as black. The Little Mermaid was a fairy tale, mind you. It was just a fairy tale to them. And they were claiming that a mermaid cannot be black. Excuse you. They don't even know that these mermaid stories have been in existence in Africa for a very long time before they even thought about writing a fairy tale of mermaids. And to those black people that like to defend the history they learned in school, please re-educate yourself because most of those history you think you know are actually lies. Don't forget that the history we know and are being taught in schools were actually written by our colonizers, at least most of it. We don't really have authentic history that was being passed down through oral traditions and even the few that have been passed down through oral traditions have been mixed up. So you don't expect your colonizers to write anything positive about you. It's left to us to discover our true history. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.